um, few do's and don'ts before we begin the meeting. Please be seated in a peaceful environment with, a, with good internet connectivity. Kindly refrain yourself from talking on taboo topics like uh, sex, religion, politics. Please be on mute when you're not talking. You can use the reaction buttons to applaud the speaker. Uh, with this, uh, you know, I'll continue my presidential address. So welcome all uh, for this meeting. And I, am, I myself am attending this meeting for a, after a very long time. And thank you, Amit. He has been handling everything since then. So um, we have the president of uh, Tripunitra Toastmasters, Toastmasters GTM Narayan. A warm welcome to you, sir, and a warm welcome to all the members of Tripunitra Toastmasters. And we have the president of VVC Toastmaster, Toastmaster Namish. Uh, a warm welcome to you and welcome to all the members of VVC Toastmasters. And uh, uh, we have, and okay, I can't see anyone else here. So we have all the members of Inspiron. A warm welcome to you. Now, to move ahead with the meeting, we have ever smiling, ever cheerful, uh, a person with a calm demeanor, a good orator, oracious reader, uh, Toastmaster Ashwita with an amazing uh, topic of the day. Over to you, Toastmaster Ashwita. Well, thank you so much, Toastmaster Fiona. Let me start with congratulating the newly wed. Uh, so, what a uh, may you have a bright future from all of us here, from all the three sister clubs around here. We wish you a very happy married life. And moving on, uh, let's thank start you. the today's proceedings uh, with uh, the people who are new. Uh, probably you all know the drill. So we are going to have the meeting, which consists of three different segments. The first segment is the speech, international speeches. The second would be the evaluation. And the, uh, sorry, the second would be the table topic. And the third would be the evaluation. So let us just start off. Let's start with the first gear and move on to Toastmaster uh, Paul, sir, who is the general evaluator for today. He has a stack team along. So I request Toastmaster Paul, sir, to come in and introduce your team. Over to you, Paul, sir. Thank you, Ashita, for the nice introduction. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you. OK. We can hear you. Now, the... I have uh, to help me to do the evaluation. I have uh, three members with me, the timer, the accounter, and uh, the grammarian. The timer will be looking the time management aspect of the whole meeting. He will uh, uh, find out when to start and when to end, and, uh, he, and he can adjust. Then uh, the second uh, uh, team member is the accounter who will uh, be watching the, the speeches and then uh, note down how many times there were uh, as and e's and uh, meaningless words, um, which are filler words, which are filler words. And we have also a grammarian who will be looking at uh, the pronunciation, the good word usage and uh, uh, if at all there is some in, improper uh, or incorrect usage of words, that also will be pointed out by the grammarian for our own improvement. So let me uh, call upon the role holders. The timer's role will be adorned by DGM Narayanan, who is the president of the Sukhonadra Toastmasters Club, a very senior Toastmaster. And the accounter will be Amit. And uh, the grammarian will be uh, Toastmaster Vidisha. That's over to the Toastmaster of the day. Uh, well, thank you, sir. Uh would we have the grammarian to give us the word of word of the day? Oh, 
for part of the day is in the country. It means stronger really than that. And the uh, sentence for example for the first day is that uh, when I read my favorite novel, I was in charge. So that's about the word of the day. It's not clear. Well, I, I would just request uh, Toastmaster to just, uh, if you can type it on the chat, probably we can read it because the line is not that clear. Word of the day is put on yeah. the toast. Yes, yes. Yes, Paul. So, uh, can I just read the word of the day, Paul, sir, on behalf of you or the grammarian? The word of the day is enchanted. E N C H A N T E D. So, the meaning is filled with delight. Well, I think the network is bad. So, I think. Uh, I think I would repeat the word of the day. The word of the day is enchanted. All right. Thank you so much, Paul, sir. Well, we all know Paul, sir. I, I had made a brief introduction for him. As we all know him as an engineer by profession, Paul, sir, is the charter member of the first open club in Kerala and a member of Triple Netra Toastmasters Club. So moving on, well, uh, all of you all have seen the theme for today. And uh, well, I definitely think today's theme works or serves well for today's uh, probably scenario because with the lockdown back now with the week, weekend lockdown, probably we can spend a little bit more time on our book. So there's a small little assignment for all of y'all again. Uh, you have to get on your toes, work around your house, check out which book you have recently read for example, I can show you the book what I recently read. I'm sorry it is the other way around, but I'm going to read it out to you. The book is about, uh, it's the Steve Jobs way, written by Jay Elliott. Okay, so this whole story is about, I mean, the book is about eye leadership. So this book tells, has uh, probably uh, shed light into Steve Jobs' entrepreneurial life about how he is a team player. Uh, well, I would just, uh, taking not much time, I would just read a little bit about uh, the book, what he has written. Well, he has said in one point of time, he recognized it as a rallying cry that would help build a cohesive team, a team of people who would love and rely on one, on one another. And he succeeded because he is a team player. So, I mean, this whole book is something about how you can be a team player, how you can lead a whole, how you can be a CEO of a company, which is a billion trillion dollar company. So I think in the meanwhile, when we, we can just walk around and get the book, what eventually you can do that. And probably you can just review the book um, over, the, over, over the period of this meeting. So let us start with today's um, initial speeches. Well, we have the first speaker today, that is Toastmaster Reshma, who will be evaluated by Toastmaster Prajwal. Toastmaster Naveed will be evaluated by Toastmaster Jacob. Toastmaster Larson will be evaluated by Toastmaster Bumeka. So let us get started with our first speaker today, Toastmaster Reshma. Well, who is a postgraduate teacher by profession. Her husband is a businessman and she's blessed with two beautiful daughters studying in 10th and 5th. She enjoys reading, writing, singing, dancing, and playing badminton. A very warm welcome to you, Toastmaster Reshma. The mic is all yours. Please take over. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day for your kind words. And I'm really enchanted to be here on this platform today. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. Am I audible to all? Yes, yes, you are audible, yeah. And visible, yeah. yeah. Okay, can I start? Yeah. 
Hey, today I'm going to show you something, something which you already have, something magical. I don't have to remind you about again and again. Hold fast to it or if it dies, it will be a bird, a broken winged bird, which will fly away and your life will be like that. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Now, did you guess what I said? What it is all about? No? Wait a minute. I'll give you a chance to just guess. So here, I'm going to present a few pictures in front of you and you have to find it out. Yes, my dear friends, can you see these pictures? Can you guess what it is about? You can unmute yourself and tell me your answers quickly. Dreaming. Yes, thank you. So it's all about dreams. So today I'm going to take you to the world of dreams. My dreams, your dreams and our dreams. Just hold it and let's go deep into the world of dreams. Now, before moving on to it, let me ask you a question. What exactly is a dream? Dream is all about succession of images, events, sensories that come in our mind during different stages of sleep. Isn't it, my friends? Yes. It occur in the REM stage. That is called the rapid eye moment stage where our brain works very highly and resembles that of being awake. This is the stage when our eyes moves continuously. To know more about it, we have to move on to our next slide that will give you a clear picture. The study of dreams the scientific study of dreams is called onurology. I repeat, the scientific study of dream is called onurology. And it says that it has a lot of facts and functions and causes. There are many researchers and scientists, for example, great researcher, Austrian neurologist, Sigmund Freud, who said about the dreams. He said, these are the representation of our unconscious wishes and desires. Let me take to you the facts, causes, and functions of dreams. You know, my dear friends, we, an average person, has around three to six dreams per night. The length of the dream may vary for a few seconds, but actually, we can dream to around five to 20 minutes. And... Almost 95% of people forget their dream once they are out of their bed. There was an unique study because a lot of confusions and doubts were there in the mind of people, whether the blind people can dream better than an ordinary person. But actually, blind people with their sensory components can dream better than us. So is it a strange research? Yes. Now, the next question, which always occurs in the mind of researchers, total confusion, what is exactly the cause of dreams? There are several theories and scientists are confused. Are dreams really part of our sleep cycle or is there some other purpose? But actually, some explanations are like this. They represent our unconscious desires and wishes. They are basically inter uh, interpreted through the random signals that body and brain give. It also consolidates information which we gather, which the brain gather during the daytime. So as you went through the facts and causes, it also talks about the different important functions of dream. Dream helps you to be alert. It keeps you alert when you have to face some future threats. For example, dreams gives a lot of information about our wishes and desires and also towards hopes of our future. Suppose I'll give you just one example. You have not heard from your brother, sister 
a friend for many months and the very and the very and and you saw his or her face in the dream and the very next day you see her his face so that is a stage called pre cognitive dream so that gives you information which you won't otherwise get it also gives you offline memory representation that happens when the memory is ready to learn a record and support it also helps to develop our cognitive capabilities cognitive capability refers to the brain based skills which is required for the manipulation for the knowledge uh, for the assessment and get, uh, information gathered so these are the facts causes and functions which we should be aware of my dear friends because dreams is not separate from our soul we live with dreams we cannot live without dreams now you should also know what about different stages of dreams i'll take you to the five different stages of sleep the first sleep stage is called light sleep sleep spindle delta waves deep sleep rem which i already discussed that is called rapid eye movement and this is the great person sigmund freud an austrian neurologist and the founder of the uh, psychoanalysis he is the person and the, and the scientists like him have gone through the deep aspects of the dream the light sleep it it takes our Five to uh, four to five percent of our total sleep. In this sleep, our eye movement is very less. Our muscle movement also reduces. And sleep spindle. In sleep spindle, what happen is eyes do not work at all. It is in a total total closed uh, form, and our brain works faster and faster. And there occurs certain brain waves rapidly. the next is delta waves in delta waves again brain works very slowly but it gets interspersed with the faster and smaller brain waves now deep sleep i know we all like deep sleep this contributes to 45 to 60 uh, sorry 14 to 16 percent understand the importance of dream because oh, lovely thank you to smarter reshma well it so reminds me of the movie inception when we spoke about dream in the movie inception uh, they speak of how scientifically the person gets into the head of the person to see his dreams well it, it's a little complicated the movie uh, i had to see it three to four times to understand it but it so reminded me of um, that movie so well uh, if you all have heard this saying books are like medicine good reading can cure a fool so let's get started with some of the um, you know role takers or we'll start with role play i can say uh, any one of you all can show me the book what you all have read of late some interesting thing to share with us i'm most certain that all of you have well uh, probably you can just raise your hand or uh, probably i think i would take the liberty of picking out one um how about how about narayanan sir could you just share with us uh, of a recent book you have read the review or the story yeah definitely or... thank you sir. yeah, uh, yeah. Good, good good evening tasma sasuda recently evening, the uh, yeah the book which i read is pa actually papion i had an ambition to read this book long ago i heard about this book very, very long ago long ago but as we say there's a time for anything and everything recently i read the book papion uh, how much time you look at me for hello hello 
Am I yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. But you're breaking in between. Uh, I didn't hello. get you correctly. Yeah. yeah. Could uh, we got the book? What you have read? It was called uh, Pathways. However, yeah. No, no, no. It, it, it is Papillon. It is a, a famous book. There is a movie based on this. Pap in, in English, it is uh, P A P I L O N. Papillon. We pronounce it as Papillon. Okay, yes, Papillon. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I've heard yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. There's a famous yes, movie based on this book. Yes. It yes, shows yes, the ambition or the uh, of a person who wants to live, who wants to move out of uh, uh, the prison, and the tremendous effort he has put in to live in the outside exactly. world. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It's a very interesting. Yeah, it's a very interesting book. Book and if uh, any of you didn't read the book till uh, date, definitely I recommend this book. Yes, absolutely, sir. I think that would go into my bucket list of reading. I shall read that book. If, if not, maybe online there are some uh, audio books as well. So we'll just yeah. check on with that. So let's move on to the next speaker. We have Toastmaster Navid, who is who hails from Kashmir. Wow, what a lovely place to be in and is currently doing his bachelor's in civil engineering. So Toastmaster Naveed, over to you. Hi. Yeah, am I audible? Yes, you are, well, yeah. Yeah, well, can you start? Yes, you're audible and visible, you can- No, start. evaluate is purpose of the- Jacob, sir. Yeah, you uh, Toastmaster your... Jacob would be evaluating. Uh, Toastmaster the day. Fellow Toastmasters and uh, my speaker in particular. The purpose of this project is for the member to clearly define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring. The purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege. All the best, Naveen, Naveed. All the best, Naveed. Back to the Toastmaster of the day. Yes, Toastmaster Naveed, your time starts now. Okay. How many of you like jewelry, shining gold, silver, and diamond? Yeah, most of us are fond of wearing jewelry and we are fascinated by its appearance. Do you know how the jewelry is casted from a raw ore and comes in market on our demand and design? Jewelers are the one who fabricate it, who fabricate that ore in the desired shapes and designs to fulfill our demands. Same is the case in Toastmasters mentoring. Mentors mold their mentees from the desired shape to form a desired shape. When I started my journey in Toastmasters back in 2019, I started taking roles, going on stage. When I was on stage, I wasn't aware about my, I wasn't aware of my posture. My mentor notes that I, when I was on stage, I put my body load on one, one leg. She told me that standing on one leg made me look casual and less comfortable and confident on stage. She suggested me to stand straight on the stage on both of my legs. Then I realized, yes, it is awkward and not a good impression on audience. From that day, whenever I speak on stage, First thing that strikes my mind is my mentor's lesson. And I never repeated that thing again. This is the beauty of Toastmasters mentoring. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Mentors or being more specific guiders have integral role in our lives. Whenever we try out a new venture in our life or whenever we try a new venture in any phase of our lives, there ought to be a someone who can show us the path. It is not that they will go through our journey, but they are the ones that ignite the fire within us. As it is said, only a jeweler can only a jeweler can find the real diamond. Same is the case here. We all have bestowed by nature with different talents, but not all of us know how to harness these talents. Therefore, we have mentors 
who help us get those caustic desires out of us and use them in a good ways. Toastmaster is a club that cherishes the raw talents and molds them into something more rewarding. Every one of us is talented, but not all are all of us are ready or we can say confident enough to bring it on the table. Therefore, Toastmasters provides every new member with a personalized mentor who will check upon their needs and help them get over the hurdles in their path. Talking about myself, I would say, whatever I am today, it's all because of my mentors. They helped me to face every problem that came into my way and helped me take a step forward towards success. And also, I would like to clear a point here that mentors aren't just the teachers or professors that were assigned to you in schools or colleges, but a mentor is anyone who has ever guided you towards righteousness. When I was in school, I had my teachers who taught me to utter and read the words. My parents who taught me to work hard and my siblings who shared experiences of their journey with me to take me, to make me ready for whatever has to come. Then I joined my college. I have amazing teachers and friends, all of them mentoring me. Then I joined Toastmasters. But the mentors here were quite different from the ones I had learned from in my earlier stages of life. Here I was provided with a single mentor and she was given a single student at the moment. She started mentoring me even before I was a member. She deserves to be given the credit of me being a part of this club. She helped me with the speech of speech to crack the icebreaker. That is the beauty of Toastmasters. You focus on your mentor and your mentor focuses on you. I believe I believe this is how my mentor could cater to each and every need of mine. And this is how she made my talent an asset to this club. I am eternally grateful to her. Now, if we go deep into history, even the greatest philosophers, physicists, astronomers, biologists had their mentors who covered them from the simple humans to phenomenal persons. Example are Socrates mentoring Plato, Plato mentoring Aristotle. Forget about history. Forget about history. Talking about present, do did you guys know Steve Jobs has been a mentor of Mark Zuckerberg? I think you all would agree to this. One of your favorite characters, Harry Potter. From whom did he learn his life lessons? The credits to Mr. Porter's personal development and becoming the greatest magician go to Albus Dumbledore. These are just small drops from a whole big ocean. I guess you all have had your mentors teaching you one or the other thing and guiding you towards a successful and contented life. I'm sure my words were informative. That's all from my side. What do you toast master of the day? <clears throat> Thank you so much, Toastmaster Navid. That was a good session on mentoring. So moving on, let's move on to the third speaker that is Toastmaster Larson. Well, Toastmaster Larson is, as, he, as in his own words, he says that is someone who ever wants to be on the path of improvement. He wants the world, he wants to make the world happy. He has top priority to contribute his services on the education system. That is a really noble thought. And he does love reading, sports, and debate. So let us welcome Toastmaster Larson. Before that, uh, I'll call upon Toastmaster Bhumika to read out the objectives. Over to you, Toastmaster Bhumika.
Toastmaster Bhumika is actually muted. Toastmaster Bhumika? Yes. I, I think she's having a network problem. Okay, can we... Toastmaster Prajwal? Yeah. Yes, Amu. Uh, Bhumika is having some network issues, uh, so... Yeah, uh, do you want me to lay down the guidelines? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, good evening, everyone here. So, Toastmaster Larson. Larson is attempting uh, his uh, level one project to second speech. So, the purpose of the speech is uh, you have already given your first speech in this project and you have received some feedback from the evaluator. You have to implement that feedback and give your uh, speech with that feedback implemented. So I'll be evaluating, uh, Toastmaster Bhumika will be evaluating you on those purposes, on those purpose. But if she has some network issues and unable to do it, I will also be the backup evaluator. So over to you, uh, Toastmaster Ashley. Yeah. Thank you, Prajwal. I just request you to also note down the points uh, because in case we do not get her online, I think uh, if it would be okay for you to go ahead with the evaluation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you so much. So we can move on with, with the third speech. Toastmaster Larson, the mic is all yours. Please take over. Toastmaster Larson? Yeah, I think probably I think he too has some network issues because I can see he was there, but we lost. Yeah. Him. I think he's back. Okay. I Am I audible? Okay. Yes, Larson. Yes, you are. Yes, yes, you are. You can okay. go ahead. One day, we will be all relieved from our pain because my heroes will lift all of us. They will grab you in their arms and travel in time to the promised land where there is peace, justice, and morally upright. Good evening, Toastmasters present here. Let me introduce you to my heroes. My heroes aren't wearing a badge of honor, but they carry a golden character in their heart. In this fast-paced world of instant coffees, instant noodles, and also we have instant EMIs to make our life more miserable, but do we have instant solutions to all our problems? Or do we have enough time to spare to look out for solutions of one another? And this is where my heroes step in. My heroes are just ordinary people who dare to be different in this world than the others. My heroes have set their hearts on fire of love and service of one another. Their life is an open book for us and for us to learn from them. When my first hero gets into his mission, he wears sea gloves to dig out infinite stones. And these stones not to cause the distraction at the snap of the finger, but to make a sustainable living so that we could all breathe clean air in the future. He is Jeet Rosh planting saplings along with his team all around Mangalore. My second, one, my second hero, when he gets into his mission, he comes with a new attire every year. And children joyfully skip a heartbeat looking at him. He is Ravi Kadpati donating his all his money 
that he has accumulated for the treatment of the infants. You may be well aware of Dr. Devi Shetty, who is a famous heart surgeon. If he does not take his mission into his hands, then I am very sure that many of them will their heart, they will skip their heartbeat forever. He has brought down the cost of the heart's affordable level. We all know this different people differently based on our religion, gender, caste, and our race. Voicing against this giant is just like fiddling with fire and bringing self-destruction on oneself. But Miss Sudha Bhartwaj is a strong pillar of hope for Dalits in our country when their right to live is curtailed. My heroes are also the sanitary workers of this country and the volunteers who take care of stray animals. And my list goes on and on. I question myself, why are they my heroes? To answer this, I had to put my thinking cap on and I imagined a hypothetical situation where the oxygen in the air suddenly plummets and choke my lungs. I have a fraction of a second to rewind my life and think of how I got into this situation. I suddenly realized then that if I had saved that only last tree from being cutting down and only last drop of water from running out, if I had saved that last life on this planet and only last animal from extinction, and only if we all switched into a sustainable living, we wouldn't be at this fate. If we don't, as a consequence, we may all face like serious challenges like climate change, global hunger and global destruction, which is a serious issue which could dampen all the human activities here. And I think it's not too late for us to collectively reverse this. And we don't miss that bus too. But my heroes does it, my heroes do it anyway without any reward. They make the constant effort so that this planet could live longer with you, me, with this around. My heroes has enchanted personality we all need to carry in our life. Superpowers do not impress me but simple and humble human does. Let us all reciprocate our talents, strength, and goodness in service of others. Unlike the Dead Sea, keeping all the goodness in itself, making it ultimately of no use. Today, dear Toastmasters, you can be our heroes too. You have to just activate a humble human in you in sparing your little time in doing little things with great love to make some, someone's life better and bring a small smile on their face. And this step will make the earth a better place to live in. And finally, we will be all surrounded with heroes around us. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Larson. Very well said. Well, all the people, they deserve to be recognized, irrespective of race, irrespective of profession, because every human being has got his own right, and he's got his right to dignity. So thank you so much for giving us an insight to your speech. So let us move on, and I would request Toastmaster Narayanan to just tell us about the time taken by all the three speakers uh, of today. Over to you, Toastmaster Narayanan. Yeah, a Toastmaster of the day and fellow Toastmasters. The first speaker, Toastmaster Reshma, used 7 minutes 28 seconds. And Toastmaster Navid availed 6 minutes and 5 seconds for his speech. Finally, Toastmaster 
master last son availed six minutes and 20 seconds. Thank you, Toastmaster Narayanan. Well, just to give you all a recap, Toastmaster Reshma is the first speaker, Toastmaster Naveed is the second speaker, and Toastmaster Larson is the third speaker. I request all of you all to keep that in mind so that we can vote at the end of the meeting. Um, but just to confirm, Toastmaster uh, Amit, we would be voting at the end of the meeting, right? Yes, yes, please. Yes. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. So, well, let us move on. And uh, well, I just need somebody else to enlighten us with another bright book, what they have read so far, or off late with, with a lot of time to spare, I guess. So I think somebody would love to raise their hand, or maybe I have to pick Ajit John. Yeah, probably I think uh, Ajit John looks like someone who's traveled a lot because he's got a backpack on his back and he's somewhere near the seashore. So I assume uh, Toastmaster Ajit, can you hear us? Uh, yes, I yes. can hear you Toastmaster Ashita. Okay, so you can probably keep your video on if you're comfortable and let us know about which book you have read recently and what it is all about. Or is it something inspiring? You can share it with us. Over to you, Toastmaster Ajit. Uh, where do I? Yes. So good evening, everyone. I'm Toastmaster Ajit from VVC Toastmasters. The book I read recently is Ikigai, the Japanese uh, secret of happiness. So that book is all about uh, their lifestyle and how they um, have a long life um, with inculcating a lot of uh, veg diet and happiness and uh, community living and uh, trying to be one with the nature and etc. <clears throat> so that was the book I read recently and I do suggest that everyone read this book because it has a lot of good thoughts and a lot of things like how you have to lead your life and everything. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster, uh, for your insight. I, I have read that book also. So thank you for sharing it with us. We can go quickly into Toastmaster Navya. Can you discuss any book you have read recently which would be inspiring or rather you could share something with us? Um, so I think one book which I'm reading right now uh, is, uh, is the book by uh, Yuval Noah Harari called Homo Sapiens. So uh, this book is actually about uh, the the history of of human uh, actually not just human of Homo sapiens so it actually takes us from the very uh, the book takes us from the very beginning uh, of of human life and all through the evolution and also uh, kind of predicts like what will be the future so it tells us how there used to be a lot of uh, so it is kind of inspiring to know uh, the because it tells you uh, about the different um, mindset or it, it tells you how we have reached here like uh, where we are right now and how things were different back then and then how there used to be multiple uh, species of humans itself so like like there are uh, you know chimpanzees and uh, and some other uh, species which are uh, under the same genes genus but they are different species so similarly we had our brothers but i mean we had other uh, homo sapiens but right now there's only there are only um, uh, us like human uh, homo sapiens so uh, so this book was actually it's a, it more than uh, it is it is a very informative book and it uh, kind of uh, it is not just informative it kind it kind of uh, tells you gives you a reason to many of the question it answers many of the questions that you may have yeah, yeah. 
thank you toastmaster navya that was that that was very informative and um, a retrospective knowledge about how evolution has taken place i'm sure about there must be uh, you must have read about darwin's theory of evolution and uh, right now i think the human race is also undergoing some sort of evolution because we need to find ourselves immune to the present pandemic so there must be some immune uh, evolution taking place within us as as such as based on the immunity i think so definitely so thank you so much i think we can quickly ask uh, jacob sir as well because i always see jacob sir somehow is i mean the look of jacob sir suggests that he is an ardent reader so just master jacob can you just uh share with us any book you have read recently i'm definitely i'm sure that you have and you will share it with us over to you toast master day toast master the day and fellow toast master good evening again not a recent book but a little long back it was written by my classmate he was a veterinary doctor it was in malayalam it is in malayalam and uh, actually it is called uh, minda pradinalam nyanam that is uh, the it means uh, silent creatures and me he had worked with lot of animals and uh, in that book he had uh, humorously written about different uh, his experience with the uh, with the clients and their pets so in one of the very interesting uh, episode he has written it was about his first operation on a dog he was posted uh, the first time he was posted in a village in trivandrum and uh, suddenly all the uh, the villagers uh, they brought him a dog because that dog was creating too many problems and they wanted it to be castrated and they all looked around him and he had to do the operation because he was the veterinary surgeon there so he put the uh, the dog was brought clean and everything by the villagers they gave him a nice bath and uh, they brought it to the hospital he laid it on the table this is his first uh, venture at the operation he remembered all his professor's words and he started the operation as soon as he started the operation villagers started commenting lot of thing because all were crowding around him and in such incident very good incidents were there in that book and uh, i really enjoyed that book i always remember that book even some uh, speeches i had made on that book of course with his permission i think that was one of the most interesting book uh, i have read and i still remember it back to the toastmaster of the day thank you sir thank you for sharing i hope we have an english version of it because some of us would love to read that as well uh, well toastmaster rohit can you tell us about the book you have read of late it could be any book yeah uh, good, good evening to all the fellow toastmasters and tmod uh, yeah uh, i would uh, love that you know like uh, wish i could have read so many books but i'm i am little uh, not so good with the books i i see a lot of movies um, but uh, yeah so uh, i would like to tell about a movie because what i feel is that you know a book tells you a story and when movie is a thing that pictureizes it so it has uh, you know uh, it, it it also it's a it's, it's a form of telling something it is a form, it's an art of you know sharing the information so uh, recently uh, i watched uh, a malayalam movie called drushyam 2 um, yeah it was yeah i think most of you have watched it and you know they would have admired the beauty of uh, the written the screenplay of it so i was a big fan of uh, the first part and uh, that, that that took me to watch, see the movie uh, to see the, see the second part yeah it was well written it is and it it shows a lot of emotions uh, you know uh, the emotion between the father and daughter and uh, it shows a real uh, reflection about our current society and it also throws various questions as a viewer of yourself which you need to question yourself introspect and give an answer so uh, yeah uh, that that would uh, do it uh, i mean yeah thank you thank you for okay. that okay thank you rohit so please 
please be close by because you are going to be the you're the toastmaster of the day and uh, table topic master of the day so as as you had mentioned so toastmaster rohit is pursuing his engineering at uh, bangalore so is it is it right so i think uh, yeah. he is an uh, movie enthusiast yeah I, uh, I, in mysore yeah in mysore sorry yeah. <laughs> sorry in mysore yes so you uh, toastmaster rohit you can go ahead as you are the table topic master of the day yes uh, thank you uh, tmo of the day uh, good evening everyone present here respected dignitaries to all the toastmasters and also not to make uh, not to forget to the guests of today's meeting and uh, thank you all for uh, accepting me as a toastmaster of the day so uh, i'll just uh, lay down the general guidelines of a toastmaster like a table topics master table topic session uh, i personally love table topic session a lot in a toastmasters meeting because i feel that is a soul you know this is a session where you know uh, new speakers are made you know you can challenge yourself you can introspect come back become much stronger so uh, so the general timing guidelines i would like to give you all is uh, first uh, you know first when you know we can voluntarily come up and take up a topic you'll be having 30 seconds of buffer to actually know about the topic and to think so that what you are likely to speak about it so you will be given 30 seconds of buffer and uh, you are speech to get qualified you need to talk about the topic for a minute and their uh, timer gives their green card and uh, at the end of 1 minute 38 second i would uh, he will give a uh, yellow card at the end of 2 minutes uh, the timer would give you the red card and you'll have a uh, 30 seconds of buffer uh, to end your end your topic so uh, i wish i want every one of you to uh, come up and uh, participate in table topic session because uh, you can't be best in in every shot you hit but with every shot you take we definitely give you a chance to become better and uh, and it would be an ex uh, experience for you to come up next so with that a piece of advice from your friend uh, let's uh, start this uh, table topic session so before we start i would definitely need a volunteer so who would be that first volunteer of today's table topic session um anyone can you just uh, raise your hand or i i can't see much of the faces uh, yeah 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 i can i can see a few but it would be good if all of you turn on your cameras and you know if you're comfortable with yes yeah okay we have our first volunteer there apurva singh yeah okay apurva so uh, okay apurva Hello, hi how are you doing i'm good how are you yeah, okay that's great uh, yeah can you hear me right Yes, yes, yes. You are audible. Yes. Okay. Okay, Apurva. Your topic is very simple. What is that one thing you wish to take with you, even after the lockdown gets over? Uh, I think my uh, topic is clear. Uh, what is that one thing that you would take from this lockdown, even after it is over? Okay, Apurva. The stage is all yours. Go ahead. Okay, that's a tricky question to answer. Firstly, as uh, we hate this lockdown so much, there is very slight point of view or views on the good parts of it. So, if I had to focus and concentrate on one thing which I would like to take down after the lockdown is over, is the ample amount of time. As I don't have to go out, I don't have to get ready always. Make sure that I'm like presentable. i can do my work sitting in my pajamas or whatever it possible comfortably in my bed or in my sofa or wherever it possible i am doing my work but saving my time in getting ready and presentable and everything which i had to take care when i'm stepping out of my room or pg so that am ample amount of time i would like to save and if possible if i can take that after the lockdown it is over would be great but till then i guess this lockdown has also taught us to be patient and to take care of ourselves and our family more so my new things which we do might affect not us but the people around us so those are few things which i am sure everyone present here will agree with me 
that sometimes we just don't have to take care of ourselves, but also the people around. That's the message I want to give. With that, I would like to wrap up my topic. Back to you, Rohit. Thank you, Purva. That was a great thing. Uh, that was a good one. Uh, thank you for that. So, uh, yeah, I think with every negative, we definitely have something to take with us. So, yeah. So, hope, uh, yeah, it's a very good one. So, uh, coming to our next volunteer, uh, anyone? I mean, okay, we have our next volunteer here, uh, Toastmaster Prajul Heba. Okay. Uh, Toastmaster Pedjul Heber, uh, your topic is simple. What, uh, what makes you smile? Toastmaster Pedjul Heber, what makes you smile? The stage is yours. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Rohit. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. This is a very easy question to answer because there are a lot of things which goes on in everyday life. Uh, to say the least, I am living with my family. So the first and foremost thing is when I wake up, I see my family. So that is the first thing which will make me smile. Then going further, uh, I meet my friends every now and then. I meet my juniors, I meet my cousin, sister, I meet most of the people around here. So I talk to them, I get a new perspective of over life. I get a new perspective over a lot of these people around me make me smile. With that said, can it be only the people and the people who we speak to in our life that can make us smile? No, for me, there is one more and most, uh, what can I say, uh, vital or important thing that will make me smile is the work I do. Whatever work that might be, it might be designing or it might be something like web development or whatever it is. Every work has a take, take away for me and every work will give me something at the end of the day. Uh, as of now, I am designing something with my fellow peers. So how I am happy with it? Because I'm getting to learn. I'm getting to talk to my fellow peers about whatever I'm designing. They're giving me new ideas. I'm learning from it. Uh, with that said, what else is the takeaway from the work which we have? So while working, you get to teach few people. While working, you get to impart your knowledge to few more peers. What will it do? It will help further. So whatever you do, you're always helping someone at the end of the day. So that is the that is one thing which will keep you going, which will make you smile throughout the day and throughout your life. So that said, over to you, Professor. Thank you, Prajul Hepper. That was a good uh, speech from you. Yeah. So we have given your insights about your family, your work. You, you I mean, yeah, it's definitely that you know every one of us should take this and you know inculcate in us. Uh, mode it's mode of mind also so uh, okay what is worst failing or never trying so this is a topic so what is worst failing or never trying so do we have any uh, volunteer who could take up this topic yeah yeah okay okay mr amit anand no, uh, he's Jivana and Suman have raised their hands. Okay, okay. Uh, and Charlene I... also. Okay, okay. We have so many. Uh, okay, so who would uh, take it up? So uh, uh, it's a tough choice to me. Uh, so uh, okay, I'll ask you again. So who would go? Who who is going to on this topic? Can there can can you all raise the hand who wants to take this topic? Can you show me? Yours? Both have raised their hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shalin. Shalin, yeah, okay, Shalin. Shalin, yeah, ma'am. Uh, she, she, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay, ma'am, uh, I think uh, uh, the topic is clear. Which is worst, failing or never trying? So the stage is yours, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, you're on I mute. I think you're, uh, yeah, you're on mute. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good evening, Toastmasters and guest, I'm Sherin from Milagris Toastmasters. I will never trying uh, is, um, uh, is an, uh, failing or never trying. Uh, and uh, I will, it's always uh, lost if you never try. 
we'll get the chance only once to live and we'll get opportunity we don't get opportunity every now and then and whenever we get opportunity we have to grab it if you fail and fail and fail then only we can succeed you know where you, uh, you have seen a kid uh, how it starts to walk when first first time when, um, when the kid is walking and the kid will fall down many a time then able to walk and if you have seen someone who is if you have done cycling if you are doing first time definitely you will not uh, ride at one go you will fall many times then you can you will able to ride it the same way whenever the life throws you off on it you grab it even even if it is a table topic session grab it and uh, don't think what others might think about it and what they will talk about it because life will throw your life will not give you opportunity every now and then whenever you get opportunity grab it and uh, see um, uh, the difference in your life and uh, uh, definitely i can tell you my experience but only if you go through that experience then one day you will share that experience with us all over to you thank you thank you ma'am that was uh, that was that was a really nice uh, talk so uh, yeah i think ma'am has uh, uh, i think she has said the words which i wanted to tell you all so yeah so that was a great insight uh, so uh, moving on to the next topic i would tell that before so uh, what are your top 5 personal values uh, to make the topic again clear what are, what, what according to you is the top 5 personal values that a human must possess so it's a it's 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 a very hard it's a very uh, heavy topic so uh, uh, do we have any volunteers who could take this and uh, share some insights about it on it ajit has advice uh, i i could is, is anyone ready ajit ajit yes. yeah okay Okay, Ajit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ajit. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the topic again. Um, what are the top five personal values which you, uh, you know, uh, what what according to you are top five personal values which you possess? Like on any human, he has to possess. So the stage is yours, Ajit. Take it out. Uh, good evening, Toastmasters and my dear guests. So the few uh, qualities there are many qualities which are human or. Uh, everyone should possess and one what i think uh, people have to possess the most is one uh, time management because we need to know how to manage time and when to do what and what to do what and second will be kindness like you have to be kind to everyone not just people like animals plants etc i remember my principal who used who was so kind kind to everyone that he um, edited and added a line in the indian play saying i will be kind to plants and animals um, it's a still a thing for me so next thing you should you should know no, um, next quality is you should tell people that you that they make uh, they value that you value them when it is time most of the time we are so busy in our lives that we don't tell people that how much they matter in our lives so that thing we must take care of and before it's too late and before we push off people from our life unknowingly or knowingly you should make sure that they know that you value them a lot and another thing another fourth quality will be like staying happy like how bad even how bad the situation is like as of now even we never had this uh, i never thought that my college life will be always inside my room attending online classes and etc but whatever we have we have to strive and make it as happy as possible and the fifth quality what i think that people must have is oh wait staying happy yes i guess that's all and uh, yeah and never to give up yeah this is one quality that people should not uh, should have always in their lives like no matter how adverse the situation is people should never give up and usually and use it the most they can and become better from all the fa- all the failures they face and all the putting down and all the hardships they face they should use those as stepping stones and come up and that's all and back to our 
टेबल टॉपिक मास्टर टोस्ट मास्टर रोहित Thank you, Ajit. Uh, that was a great insight, and uh, thank you for uh, sharing your thoughts on this topic. So, uh, so now moving on to our next uh, uh, topic of today's session. So, this would be a little easier one. What gets you excited about life? I think everybody are busy in our own lives, but uh, there will be something that gets you excited, that gets you motivated. So, uh, what would that be? So, who would like to take this topic? Is there anyone who would? Uh... Suman, you want to try? Suman. Yeah. Okay. Can you can you repeat the question, please? Yeah. Uh, what gets you excited about life? About. What gets you excited about life? About uh, life. Yeah. Yeah. Is it clear? Uh, can I repeat it once again? Yeah. Can you repeat it again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is what gets you excited about life. Okay. Yeah. Okay, man. Uh, the stage is yours. Yeah. Uh, good evening, uh, postmasters and uh, guests. I'm Suman, and uh, I'm today. I'm a guest. I mean, I was uh, earlier a part of uh, Inspiron. so what excites me is being with my uh, family okay and for the past one year have been working from home and it has been a stressful year i mean like long working hours and uh, kids online schooling but whenever i get some free time i try to uh, be with the kids and uh, uh, involve in activities that excites them so seeing their happy faces makes me happy okay and um, um everyone is busy these days i mean uh, we are we are not able to you know uh, in, uh, uh, meet our friends our colleagues like though we want to you know uh, go to office uh, we are unable to go and uh, we are confined with you know four walls so what excites me currently is you know spending more time with the family doing activities which i was not able to do when i was no going to office like i'm kind not of trying out new recipes or you no know, playing some uh, uh, exciting games with the kids or uh, uh, doing some uh, uh, creative uh, uh, things okay which i was not able to do it um, earlier thank you Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you for your uh, insights on this topic. So it was a great, uh, great talk to hear. So uh, the the next topic would be is a question to every one of us here. That is, is there anything as perfect exist, or is just a perception? Does perfection exist? Okay, let it let it be the last topic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, to be the last topic of today's session. Uh, so uh, with this we're going to end this session so uh, is there anything as perfect uh, so do we have any of our volunteers who would like to take up this um. <laughs> okay do we have anyone this would be the last topic of this session so as i mentioned earlier give it a shot so uh, is there anything such as perfect that really exists okay please please grab the opportunity otherwise i will take it yeah yeah sir <laughs> okay okay ma'am reshma reshma is here ma'am okay uh, so is there anything as perfect reshma the topic is is there anything as perfect so the uh, yes uh, i don't think so there is anything which is very perfect it actually depends upon a, a person to person it is totally i think based on your perspective towards life and towards uh, the things which come on your way for example if you ask a small little girl or a child uh, if you ask who is perfect in your life obviously they will say that their mother but if you ask the mother's mother 
who is perfect she will say my daughter is not very perfect but yes my mother is very perfect similarly students teachers we all have like different perspective toward life the only thing is the only important thing is our attitude and how we uh, take the things in our life that is where the perfection lies if you are not trying out with the things you are not able to explore the things and that is where you are imperfect you will become perfect when you when you will try out the things when you will face the challenges and also motivate others to come forward and uh, take initiative in all the things that is my perspective towards life and i feel i'm still imperfect because i have to learn every day each moment every second and i request the same and expect the same from my children as well thank you yeah thank you ma'am uh, that was uh, that was a uh, uh, great great talk and uh, your final line that you know uh, we have to learn from every second every moment yeah that, i think that every one of us should inculcate to ourselves so uh, with this uh, topic and to the, with this uh, you know speech we come and come to the end of the table topic session of today's uh, evening uh, i thank everyone for making it such a such a such a wonderful event so we discussed about various topics here so uh, i hope i uh, i did my job okay okay uh, good so uh, thank you everyone uh, for uh, participating so now we'll have to give it back to our uh, tmod who is waiting there so back to the stage that the stage is back to tmod tmod the stage is yours thank you to master rohit that was a job well done full justice to the table topic topic uh, i i loved all the topics especially the one which is said what brings a smile to your face i mean that it's really nice to keep a smile around all these days it's just that we need to keep keep that smile because i do deal with smiles so that is the only thing we all can enhance right now it doesn't need much just four to five muscles to just flex to give us a broad smile so other than that uh, i would uh, request uh, toastmaster narayanan to just tell us about the time taken for all the contestants uh, sir could you just tell us about the time taken by individual table topic contestants yeah toastmaster of the day the time availed by the different uh, table topics comment that is uh, as follows toastmaster abhurva singh 1 minute 20 seconds first master prajwal 1 minute 37 seconds first master charlin 1 minute 37 seconds first master ajit 2 minutes and 20 seconds first master suman 1 minute 30 seconds and finally first master reshma 1 minute and 15 seconds over to you first master of the day yeah thank you so much sir well i think i have a few questions but my question can keep i mean i can wait for my questions because um, right now we have a special guest here who is the toastmaster for 7 years who's been a toastmaster for 7 years a soft skills trainer at dia systems a lifetime member of iscd mangalore udpi chapter a hoarder marketing person by heart a numismatic events enthusiast and a lover of creative arts to name a little bit of our achievement well i'm talking about dtm divya shri gatti well uh, i request without much ado and uh, we just request uh, toastmaster uh, dtm divya shri gatti to just come forward and enlighten us with your topic over to you dtm divya shri gatti Hey Ashita, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Uh, DTM, uh, the how you would uh, how you would like to have the, uh, the timing card? Uh, glad you asked, sir. Give me a ten, fifteen, and twenty. So, total twenty minutes. Yeah, I will end by fifteen. Twenty, right? Yeah, I'll end by fifteen, but just giving a buffer time. Okay, it will be ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, good evening, everyone, and uh, it feels like home because I was a past member of Inspiron, and somewhere both the club, other clubs involved in this, I have a small little connection with them, both of them. Um, let me start with that. Um, VVC 
college as such was one of the first colleges I worked uh, during my earlier days of my uh, job. I think I started working with uh, mark in my marketing professional um, in the year 2010, and VVC is one of the colleges. So if Vishwanath sir, the your TPO is still there, then he should know me. But I know um, VVC Toastmasters from the time Mangalore and Mysore have been together. So you, the boys who have become men of your club, like Rohan, Saurav, these are people whom I've uh, worked with in the past when uh, when Toastmasters had just when VVC had just started off in uh, Mysore, and uh, Mysore has a clo very close connect with Mangalore. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the other club in here that is our all the the first Kerala club, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, first Malayalam based club in uh, Kerala, that is the uh, Tripu Nitura, uh, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, mistaken? Yes. If I'm wrong, sir, Narayan, sir, I'm really sorry. You should be. You should pardon me for all this mistake because you know me for long enough. I think I remember writing this name wrongly even in the newsletter the first time it was published, and then I'm like, hey, let's get the spelling right. And so somehow there's a connect. And that's exactly what Toastmasters is about. It connects you with a lot of things, unknowingly, you are knowing it. So before I even talk the benefits, what you get from our Toastmasters, to each one of you, I want to know two things. Okay, the answer is one, but the question might be different for each one of you. One, why did you join Toastmasters? And two, why do you continue to be Toastmasters? And that's my question to you. And I would love to, you all to use a chat window to give me that answer for it. Can be a one word answer, it can be a one sentence answer. I leave it to you, but do write your answers on the chat. Window. Why did you join? If you're a very new member, if you're here for more than one year, then I ask, need to ask you, why did you renew your membership? Three and a half thousand and plus, it's not a small amount of money. <laughs> I pay four and a half thousand, that's a different story. In my club, we pay that much, but why do you join? Just to give you an icebreaker, Apurva, you have done level three, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, See, I told you, I don't even see for, for some time now. Yes, I've completed a path and now it's my second path. Oh, so you are planning to give, the, the reason you joined back those masses is to give you an icebreaker? That's interesting. Yeah, I just heard one icebreaker. In VVC Toastmaster, and I was so fascinated to tell everyone about my icebreaker that I was like, Yes, I'll join it. Interesting. Now, then I asked you something. You renewed your membership, right? You started off your second part. Why did you renew then? Then, the second question applies to you. I guess because I fell in love with the stage, I loved to go there and deliver speeches again and again. And I loved the community, like whole VVC Toastmaster family. That's why I stayed. We somehow become loyal to them. They become our own breed and our own clan there. Okay, I, I'd love to hear these answers over here. Okay, Apurva has told her story with those masters and her love of the stage. And Reshma says, to explore new uh, ways of life. That's an interesting and that's a very open-ended answer. Uh, could it say to, no to Amit, Fiona? Now that's a menti talking. <laughs> and the club president. <laughs> I think both the answers, if I ask why you are the president, she, he, she would tell me the same answer for sure. And Naran sir, to enjoy the positive environment. And that's the environment he's been creating from the time I've been a Toastmasters. That's back in the year 2015 when I joined. He's been around. I, I don't know whether he remembers, but I love every time Kerala organizes a conference because they go all gaga with all the beautiful things they can arrange with. And it's like, uh, you know, you're going to a five-star hotel and like, ah, you're in Canada. And they treat you loyally too. To find a new family, hey, that's interesting. That's very deep, Prajwit. And uh, to master public uh, speaking skills. And Rohit said, um, uh, my path, it is, uh, it's also given me a chance to meet wonderful people. Uh, so he's very task-oriented to learn more about myself and make new friends. Huh. Thanks, Amit. I hope you made enough and you continue to make few for sure. And then comes Ashrita to continue to improve my communication and leadership skills. And if this is a reason you have your why of Toastmasters, this is your why. I think that's what the PR campaign is done. What is my why? Your my why is here. Now let's go to how of it. Okay, Let's go to how of it. Now can we all... Uh, before I proceed, I think I should tell you why I joined. And then Sharin said to remain positive. 
I totally agree with you, Shalini. Uh, that how much positivity Toastmasters and people around them bring it. So I joined Toastmasters because I was bored. I was to the to the depth of my heart that I was like, hey, is there anything interesting in a city like Mangalore? Because I was living in Bangalore back then. I'd come down, move move to Mangalore, and it was like almost two three months, and I'm like, hey, nothing to do here. Mangalore has become so boring because none of your friends were there. All of them have moved to Bangalore. So like, let me find something interesting. And uh, almost two years before I joined, uh, one of my friends in a pajama party during a pajama party told me that, hey, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm working. I'm doing this. I was going places. And she's like, hey, you should go to this place called Toastmasters. And I don't know what you all thought about the first time you heard about Toastmasters. I didn't think about the drink Toastmasters. I'm like, what are you going to master in toasting for all, all the reasons? So, are you planning? You know, we all call it the toaster in our family. Why do you become a toaster in of all the things? And she told me this one thing about Toastmasters: you find people who are similar to you, completely insane, who will push you beyond your limits to achieve something somewhere you set your heads to or your minds to. And now, there's where in my next question comes in: as let's bring an outline of what we can achieve. in toastmasters let's bring an outline so this is what you wanted to achieve you've don't given me open ended answers can you set one goal against it to everybody who says um, i want to improve myself and make friends what is that one goal which is smart which is specific uh, which is uh, manageable in the course of time of the next 5 or 6 months and what is uh, realistic you could set one goal against and i want that you all to use a chat window if you told you come to make friends how many fr- new contacts do you want to establish in the next 6 months let's keep 6 months happiness what is happiness to you you have to define it huh? so i want to attend more meetings that would be happiness if you are saying i love to make new friends to gain longer knowledge on what type of knowledge are we talking about is it stage dynamics is it um presentation skills put one goal against it which you plan to achieve the next 6 months and then i will tell you how will toastmasters help you because it's not about me telling you what you can do out of those masses it's about you to benefit what you really want to do out of those masses to put one tangible goal specific measurable attainable and realistic and time bound so we are putting 6 months as a time frame and put a goal to your head so if you are saying somebody like i'll just go through whatever i said to find a new family so how big is your family right now how much you want to grow okay how many more few friends you want to add public skills to master public skills so what do you think that the next 6 months i prepare a speech to make it to the area level or to deliver a, a speech in front of a thousand people audience is that tangible it need not be post masters you want to mc some of your college projects that's tangible goals stage press so rohit can you put a time to it you said to make a better Uh, to be uh, to make me better on stage, uh, speaking and stage performance. So, can you tell me one tangible goal? Like in the next six months, I want to create a stage for myself where I can, or I want to create an opportunity for myself where I can deliver a speech in front of 500 people or 50 people, or want to MC a online wedding, whatever it is. Put a goal to finish your master. Why, Sharan? Why do you want? Okay, that's a tangible goal. Correct. That's a tangible goal. She wants to. Finish a presentation mastery. I think that will help her achieve her long-time goals in life. That sounds very tangible. Help ten toastmasters to come to complete in six months. Help, uh, sir. I think you missed one word. Le- level one completion. Level one completion. Level one. Fantastic, sir. So you mean to mean to say you want to mentor ten people in the next six months to take up? You want to take up mentorship? to make a impactful speech in front of a huge audience so ashita what's your huge you're talking in front of your college it's you're talking about 1000 people no if you're talking in front of toastmasters i think you will have to cut down the number <laughs> yeah exactly now okay i'm reading i'm going to give you another one minute okay it's like a one minute buzzer round you have to type your answers and then i will uh, then we'll discuss about the possibilities of if it's making you think i'm i'm doing half my job it's about you and only you 
because the people who have to benefit out of it is you. To help my fellow members to find their place and goals. That's fantastic. Which means that are you the VP at Prajwal or the president? One of them for sure. <laughs> VP at for sure. Prajwal. <laughs> See? So you made your role, you're taking your role seriously. So it shows your professionalism. Reshma, uh, to give as much speeches as possible in the next six months to learn new things. Fantastic. So when you're giving a new speech, if you plan to make it innovative, fantastic. So there comes how do we do it? Okay. Because you told me what you want, what is your benefit out of those masters? This is your, everybody is an individual. Everybody has their own needs in those masters. And how do we get there is what we are going to discuss about. And I have a presentation here for just one slide to tell you, okay, how do we do this? So we've just discussed the outline of the outcome. We discussed, we, we, the point of, that you put up is for you. I'm not going to copy it anywhere. This is for you, a mental note for you. And then how do we get there? That's the discovery part of putting in across, hey, this is what I want to attain. And there is your first pool of people who would help you attain it. Okay. As a member, so if a per person like Prajwal, your members will help you attain it because your goal is for them. Okay. If you're somebody who wants to give 10 speeches uh, in the next few months, it will be your club who is going to help you. Okay. And if you're somebody who wants to grow beyond it, it's going to be your division area and your district who is going to help you. There's no other place where, where you have a learning as much as Toastmasters does. And let me tell you the other benefits a Toastmaster can have apart from speaking, because whatever you have listed down is either coming down to speaking or to mentoring. Now, how does both of them help you? The more you speak, the more refiner you get, the better ideas you get, the better presentation you get. This small little screen that you're seeing is somehow limiting you to explore opportunities. And that's exactly what Toastmasters does to you. You, when you're giving a speech of five to seven minutes uh, and you're told, speak about different styles of uh, communication, and you'll be like, okay, there is uh, the uh, speaking styles like persuasive. There's some style like going very diplomatic. There's some styles going in different aspects of leadership. A um, few months back, one of my club members spoke about different styles in which Shah Rukh Khan speaks. Okay, and he brought in the persuasive style, the most uh, uh, seductive style, the most um, uh, the most diplomatic style with every movie of his. So that is where you're breaking the sham cattle, saying that, hey, I have this framework. Right now it's my screen, but there's a manual. How do I break it? So basically, this gets enhanced. So apart from this, how do we explore the benefits of those masters? Has any of you written something apart from your uh, exams and uh, your, your um, project to work? Anybody written something? Yeah, so Prajwal says he has. Fantastic. Anybody else raising hands or writing on the chat window? Poem, poems. Very good, Reshma. Fantastic. I'll tell you something. I never knew I could write it. I actually wrote it for the district. So I was part of this district newsletter team in the year 2014-15. Got in there by fluke. I think that's from the time I know Narayan sir. When that was when Kerala conference was organized. And uh, I was put in this rare weird team called the creative team and I had to make posters and the first poster I prepared I said it to the then district uh, PRM Kavya Gauda she was like okay this is not your cup of tea and she told me okay let's do something else why don't you start writing and I tried I like sincerely tried because I told her I don't think so I will survive in this team because it's very high demanding you want things happening and I don't fit in here and that is when we started writing. And that's when I started writing. And I believe that that's what got me into the place where the, the next year I was uh, was a lead editor for the next year's district newsletter. It got me a place in my professional work wherein I was writing and proofreading articles for my company. So this is where your baby pool is. Okay. Something you've not tried. This is where Toastmasters gives you that opportunity. So think about one crazy thing that you want to try out in Toastmasters. That's my second thing. Okay. Think anything under the under the sun. 
which is attainable. Take anything under the sun. You want to be a good actor, please do write it. You want a good, be a good comedian, please do write it. Anything. You want to debate. Rishma, we have a debating club in Mangalore. Amit will be able to help you out there. <laughs> you can attend their meetings. You want to attain it, I will tell you ways of getting it, getting there. There's a debating club which is recently started off. Amit is a member. You maybe just attend those meetings and see, hey, if they are really doing debating, how are they doing it? Amit, I hope they're doing debates there. <laughs> yes. First question to ask. <laughs> you just named debating club. Yes, we have a platform for you. That's where you benefit. So can you please write what are the benefits you want of Toastmasters? As you're thinking, I'll give you what I was saying. So every year in the month of May, I have a retrospection and I make a list of things I want to achieve in Toastmasters in this year. And this year it was about making uh, posters. Okay. The one which I was doing really bad in the year 2015-16, I was like, I really suck. And this year, and, uh, so that was my goal in the year 2020-21. And somehow I, I was a little reluctant where to try it because my club had, it has an amazing uh, PR. So I asked my boss, can I do this for you? And he's like, okay, try it out. And I happened to do a very, uh, run a campaign in my company called a CSR campaign. And I have a wonderful, uh, nice email in toast, uh, from my manager saying that this is amazing. I've never seen such a work. If I show it, to a, I show that the same work to a Toastmaster, he lists, listed down 20 points of improvement. Okay, he listed me 20 points of improvement, which means the talent pool in Toastmaster is so high that even if you're an average here, when you get out there, you're amazing. So the first thing is that, did you try that something different? Okay. Uh, try, start speaking humorously. Okay. That's an interesting, which Amit has told. What about the others? Nobody wants to try anything new. Huh? Three and a half thousand, four thousand gone down the drain. If you have so much of luxury money, please tell me. I will uh, tell you better things to do with that money. <laughs> I guess I have already uh, benefited from the, big, uh, from the best family and the best set of friends and a lot of them. Prajwal, this is a loyal member speaking here. I mean, that's the loyalty Toastmasters creates. But then I would like you to be a little selfish. Okay. I want you to get a self -selfish, selfish because after some time, this is what I was when I was a VP at President Next and doing it for my club. After some time, I'll kill you saying that, why, what am I doing for myself? So think about that because we Toastmasters are the most selfish people on this world and we should be because we need to get the ROI of what we invest. Okay. So let me just pin down some of the things which are possible. If it is uh, something which is, uh, if, you are, if you are restricting your vision right now. If you're somebody who loves events, likes to organize things, a club meeting is where it starts. If you can organize a via TMOD or organize a joint meeting like this, you've done your first step. And if you have, then progress to the next level of talking to the area director saying that, yeah, I'm decent. Or put that word to your president saying that I'm decent. Can I do it at the area level? And I know people who have grown in your career in that part. So that is a possibility. I told you about writing. If you're somebody who writes well, please submit an uh, article in your newsletter. Be it in your off college, office, or this one, or in your or Toastmasters. Your writing skills improve. And right now, blogging is the best medium of secondary income or first income for college students. That is how you benefit out of those masters. If you're somebody who uh, likes to talk, okay, and if you are good at what you're talking, there are enough those masters organize um, events where you have to speak. Either maybe present as a present as a toastmaster of the day, present what is a TMOD, present what is a VPA. These are the places. These are the places where people identify. I'm telling you bluntly. I I get back all the money that I invest into those masters. If I pay 9,000 as fees, I make back that money through Toastmasters. And I've been doing this for the last five years. Okay. So there is not only ROI of me visible at such platforms, I make back the money that I get. So are you in the position to say that I'm able to turn, turn the table around saying that if I've invested seven, 8,000, am I getting it? Back? And that's the whole essence of Toastmasters of networking. If you are good at anything, please try doing it again so that you benefit out of it and get back what you are investing. Beat your time, beat your money, or be it 
your effort and with that i stop saying that if there are possible if there if you can think i just going to shamelessly copy the uh, the conference chair of coronations line saying that if you can think you can do it it can happen okay so if you think about possibilities toastmasters has everything and everything that you can think about i think i got my new job because of toastmasters i have a whole circle of friends who helped me out during corona because they are all toastmasters and i think i've discovered new talents in me because somewhere i seen toastmasters try it out and like hey why not so toastmasters is for everyone who intends to take it forward and with this i'll just ask if there are any questions i would love to answer them as you you can write it to, uh, tell it to me i will answer them when you are doing your table or doing your evaluation so that i don't waste uh, spend any extra time so do i'm open for questions right now this time i would answer it here and then if there is uh, no extra time i would uh, do it on the chat window as you uh, say ashwita and um yeah yeah thank you so much uh, thank you dtm vivekti gatti yes i think that's a good idea we can tell our members present today to just type in their questions which i think they are having after such a nice talk what we what you shared with us it's it's total value of time what you gave us today so definitely members please type in your a uh, questions on the chat box and dtm divyashri would like to answer them eventually as we go on with today's meeting so uh, uh, i mean uh, nevertheless on uh, that uh, uh, point i would definitely ask you the question what your favorite book uh, is so far uh, uh, divyashri gatti have you read i i'm very sure that book <laughs> books are part and parcel of your life too as it is mine so definitely would you like to share some views regarding since you have spoken about other aspects we can just uh, slow down as today's the, uh, theme says slow down and read a book so have you read a book i mean i don't know from your busy schedule whether you have any time for it right now but have you read one of late and would you like to share about that book with us right now i would love to share my, uh, something about it so Uh, a couple of years ago where i thought i realized the importance of reading book and i tell it to every person i meet that please read i don't have that app i don't have that habit in me of reading voraciously but i try to read something so i joined a book club which ashita is also part of and uh, sometimes i tend to attend it or sometimes i don't but i have a whole lot of friends who have gifted me empty number of books which i have not read but there's one book which i have read maybe more than once and that would be lean in by um, cheryl sandberg it somehow uh, makes sense a lot it's a women oriented book but it's not that a man man cannot read it it makes uh, you believe that hey um, not nothing needs to be perfect it's just the attempt you should be happy with what you do rather than try to get in perfection the the more you do the better you get at things okay. it's about work, trying to balance things and trying to be perfect at everything it just breaks the shackles in. yeah exactly or oh, that that's a good review what you told uh, so far i've got i've got at least four books in my bucket list i'd like to share so that you people can also read it papillon suggested by toastmaster narayan and homo sapiens suggested by toastmaster navya silent creatures and me the english version uh, which is suggested by toastmaster jacob and linen suggested by dtm devashri gatti so we have i think i can move on uh, if we can have uh, uh, toastmaster amit do we have time for some more uh, reviews by our members if it's okay uh, can we can we uh, continue with the evaluation session because uh, we are running short of 5 minutes we'll run short of by 5 minutes fine yeah sure sure yeah so i think we can carry on with the evaluation i request uh, toastmaster paul sir to just uh, give us a uh, move forward and uh, proceed with the evaluation so sir toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and esteemed guests we have now come to the evaluation session where we have an introspection into things what has happened here to understand good things done and uh, improvement areas if any 
all those things are there the, the first, first of all let us uh, go to the uh, prepared speech evaluations the first evaluation is it will be done by toastmaster prajwal from inspiron toastmasters club with a round of applause let us invite uh, toastmaster prajwal uh, to evaluate the speech delivered by toastmaster reshma nayar uh, thank you paul sir uh, before i speak i am from bbc toastmasters but in spiron that was a last change in, uh, in the end uh, so toastmaster reshma you attempted your level 1 project 3 that is research and presenting i would say you had a lot of research done you had a lot of facts you had a lot of points which you, you had to uh, tell it to the audience the topic which you selected was dreams the major topic was dreams so you have uh, taken a topic which everyone can relate because everyone has dreams uh, you took it to the sleep you take uh, went on with the phases of sleep so you are explaining how dreams and where you will get dreams how many dreams you will you get all these things uh, good job done on that because everyone can relate you were well aware of the audience that if they are uh, if they can relate it or not because that's one of the major aspects of the thing you should connect with your audience to also involve the audience by showing the pictures and telling them to guess what you are speaking about so what that makes is if someone is not uh, giving attention to your speech uh, they'll give attention because you ask them a question and they have to respond now so they'll start giving attention to your speech so that's how you grab the attention of the audience uh, good job done on that with that said i have few points which would have made your speech a much better one so one is you had a monotonous voice uh, or i could say you had the same pace you had the same voice there was not much voice modulation so what that does is if it's a monotonous speech everything will be in the same line so there is no variation so at some point of time uh, people will lose concentration so if you have a little bit of variation that would be better you had a lot of pauses pauses rather than pauses i could say you had a lot of cuts like you were uh, telling the words you were thinking and you were telling so what happened is between each and every word or uh, between two words there was a gap so there is a uh, there is no continuation between the words so which will again uh, make the audience wonder what you are telling so if you can work on that then it's a good thing with that said i i would also tell you had a lot of information so you could have uh, reduced a little bit of information and you, and you could have concentrated on few parts and elaborated a little with some examples or you could have uh, after your speech uh, the tmod gave the example of inception so if you if you would have used that example it would have made a better impact as what well, i think all in all your speech was good your research was good uh, a little bit of you uh up uh you think you can implement in your speech uh, would make it a much better one so that's it over to you paul sir thank you prajwal for very very specific very neat evaluation um, coming to all the good aspects of the speech and then giving some suggestions i don't have anything to add give a big round of applause to the evaluator prajwal okay thank you the second evaluation the evaluator is toastmaster jacob koshi one uh, see one of our senior members of oh. he is the president oh no is he the, no, no, no. he is uh, he has been in uh, inspiron toastmasters club right yes inspiron toastmasters club now i am not familiar with uh, your person and the club name because i am from a different place anyway i found you very uh, an experienced person with a lot of experience and uh, the evaluation will be done by uh, jacob toastmaster jacob koshi the speech delivered by uh, my toastmaster navid was navid was 
Over to Jacob Koshi. Uh, thank you, General Evaluator. General Evaluator and fellow Toastmaster and guests, again, a good evening to you. And my speaker in particular. Nabeed, your speech was fantastic and I was really enchanted by it. These are not empty words because you had a very good beginning. And the quality of the speech comes with the good beginning, good subject and good ending. And your beginning was really good. When I, when you said about jewelry and gold, I was thinking, what is this to do with mentoring? But then you said it is not about, it is the molding of the jewelry and gold that that you can compare it with uh, those past ones. You said it is shaped and designed nicely. And that way the Toastmaster is also shaped and designed nicely by the mentor. It was a very good beginning. And other qualities which I like, so three, four other qualities I like was your, uh, I saw some actions on this thing. And uh, you can clearly see the actions along with the speech only on the stage. But here I saw you are attempting to do it. But the best quality I liked was the voice modulation. And it was a great effort. What makes the champion speakers different from the ordinary speakers, the voice modulation and the physical action on the stage. This will immediately give a big impression on the audience. I have seen it many times. So please continue with that. And uh, I'll tell you one example. When you said uh, about your past teachers, I think you said amazing teachers. Amazing teachers. When you said amazing itself, that word itself conveyed the meaning to the audience. Please continue with that. And your voice is really good. Very loud voice and very clear voice. And uh, you have a uh, great quality to become a good speaker. But I, I cannot always, but I have to find something. Uh, and I, I found something uh, lacking in your speech. One was your lack of preparation. Because I think I heard you're repeating the sentence once or twice, and uh, that law that shows the lack of uh, uh, preparation. So please, uh, especially on the stage, you cannot do that immediately. It is uh, noticed immediately. And the second one was, uh, I missed the title of the speech. In every speech, I miss the title. It's very important. Uh, in the competition, when you somebody introduce you, they say your name and the title. And here I miss the title. Please put a title on the speech. It's very important because it conveys the meaning to the audience what you are going to speak about. It. And uh, and the lastly is about your uh, end of the speech. Uh, your beginning of the speech was very fantastic, and the body of the speech was fantastic. But the end of the speech, I thought uh, something was la lacking. Uh, and uh, I think these are the points I noted down. But anyway, you have a very good quality to become, become a champion speaker. Please continue with your voice modulation practice and action with speech. And all the best, Naveed, and back to the general evaluation. Thank you, Toastmaster Jacob Koshi, for your uh, crisp evaluation. Give a big round of applause to uh, Toastmaster Jacob Koshi. Toastmaster Bhumiga, are you ready with your evaluation? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, I, 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 I thought you, know, you had some connection problem. That's why I asked this question. The third evaluator is Satosh Master Bhumika from VVCE. Am I right? Am I making any again? Right, speech? sir. Right. No. VVCE, Toast Master's Club. Uh, she will be evaluating the speech delivered by Toast Master Larson. Let us invite Toast Master Bhumika to evaluate the third speech. Give a big round of applause. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, Larson, you attempted your second speech in evaluation and feedback. So places where you excelled, you gave examples of your uh, daily life heroes. So this was a very nice way to connect with the audience. All of us could relate to our life heroes. So uh, good job on that. The second way and the heroes that you chose were very kind and inspirational. So at the end, you gave a spark in the listeners to create a better world. So that was a very good thing. And then the last thing, the way you concluded was good. Now, moving on to the things that you can work on. The first would be your pauses. I felt the pauses were a little abrupt. 
and the second was your speech pace was a little slow so for these two things i would suggest that uh, you know you record your speech while practicing and listen to it so it will help you improve your pace and pauses and everything so you'll be able to know where you have to give the right pauses and the last thing would be your voice modulations voice modulations are very important when you have to express few things so i felt that somewhere that was lacking in your speech now going on to your challenges uh, just a suggestion even though we are in our homes you can always use your place as the stage you know when you stand and deliver your uh, speech the uh, your hand movements everything will add on to your speech the way you have to express something it will be added on when you use the uh, whole screen so next time when you are giving your speech try standing up just don't sit and give this is just a suggestion thank you back to the general evaluator thank you to master bhumiga for a very crisp evaluation give a big round of applause to to master bhumiga now it is a time for is a time for voting for the best evaluator you yes, can i have uh, circulated the voting link for the prepared speeches table topic as well as the evaluations attendees please vote for the best speakers table topic and evaluators all sir you can continue okay thank you uh, now it is a time for uh, the tag team they have collected a lot of information which will be useful to the club and to individual toastmasters and let us see uh, each one of them let us review each one of the tag team members firstly let us invite timer dtm narayanan to give uh, his uh, report on the time taken by various um, various sessions various speeches etc uh, how are to you, am i audible yes sir yes yeah but, and unfortunately there was uh, some internet uh, uh, connection problems and uh, i could not down the time taken by uh, toastmaster prajwal it was 3 minutes 21 seconds and Toastmaster Jacob Koshi, it was three minutes and fourteen seconds. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, not down the time taken by the uh, last evaluator, Toastmaster uh, Bumiga. There was some internet connections. Still, I am uh, facing some internet connections. Sorry for the trouble. Over to you, General Evaluator. Now let us uh, thank you, DTM Narayanan, for uh, the, the detailed uh, evaluation of the timing. give a big round of applause to dt narayanan now it is time for the accounts report let us invite amit thank you so much general evaluator uh, to master paul sir speakers were reshma navid and larsen reshma had less than 5 Hours. Filler words or touch words. What she had used were again and again, and she has used twice and faster and faster. Navid had less than five hours. Larson had less than five hours. Evaluators, Prajwal, you used so. more than uh, two or three times and you had used more than five times r uh, jacob sir less than five hours bhumika you used you know twice and less than five hours over to you paul manjuran sir thank you amit for your uh, clear evaluation on the Us. Lastly, 
but most importantly is the grammarian's report. Let us invite uh, grammarian uh, Toastmaster Vidisha. Okay, then shall we skip that event? No, no, no. I will send her report. She sent okay. me the report, so I okay. read out. Her read out, read out, read out. Right. Yeah. So, good evening, everyone. I present Vidisha's uh, report, the grammarian's report. So, there were quite a good number of good usages and a little less not so good usages. Some of the good usages which were noted down were we live with a dream and we cannot live without it, and dream, 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 and reach stars. They are, they are the ashes who ignite fire in us. Is there is there a fast-paced world of mutant coffees, instant noodles? I had to put my thinking cap on. And some of the not so good usages are, you see her or his face. You see her or his face, which should have been you see. Stage is yours, take it out. And when to do what and what to do what, there is a better way to phrase that. And the word of the day was used twice today and phrase of the day was not used even once and i guess we have to more, encourage more usages of the word of the day and phrase of the day i know it's not pretty easy to incorporate those during the prepared speech sections and um yeah but uh, the table topics and etc we can use it and at last before i have yeah I'd like to say that please do remember that readers are the leaders. And that's Vidisha's report. And I hand over the screen back to the general evaluator, to Mr. Paul. Thank you, Ajit John, for uh, reading out the report by uh, Vidisha, who could not uh, present it herself. But congratulations, both of you. That's all about uh, the comments, but then I have to add a few things. I, I, I must congratulate, there are good things that happened here. One thing, the meeting room was opened 15 minutes before the meeting. When I joined this meeting, I found everyone, a few people were there. The president introduced the TMOD very well, very nice, motivating fashion she has introduced. The TT pro table topic master Rohit had uh, good, good topics, very relevant topical questions, and uh, all those topics were uh, answered very well by the commentators. Congratulations to the table topic master and uh, uh, the table topic commentators. Then uh, we had an educational session. Diveshi Gatti, DTM. She had a very nice session, very interactive session. And uh, uh, she made the point that uh, the return on investment, whatever money you spend, you can take it out. That kind of message she has given to you. Uh, that is not, not only the return on investment, your investment on not only money, your time, and you should take, make best use of it, especially the youngsters. If you honestly, if I answer, I am, I am not a very good Toastmaster, even though I am the oldest Toastmaster in Kerala, but uh, uh, I, I have not been very good in making full use of Toastmasters Club. So don't follow me in that way. For you, all the youngsters, you should take advantage of it. Not a person like me, retired person long ago. So. Take advantage of it. It is not only the money return on investment, the return on your time spent. You 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 do that better. But if you make an introspection, I can find you at least 50% of the people are not fully utilizing the time and taking the full advantage of it. 
take it that's all what i want to say some suggestions i uh, want to make to the overall suggestion is that the, uh, i think we should uh, in our investments you know, we are talking divyashri has been talking about uh, investments i think we should uh, make little more investment in our connectivity i think everyone should have a little better connectivity maybe a good uh, strong bandwidth is uh, necessary because even after you are uh, uh, the corona pandemic this ki kind of act i practice is going to stay there will be a lot of uh, work from home activities there will be a lot of zoom meetings activities and if you are active or businessman or student or a teacher whatever be your profession you need the connectivity that is a order of the future so please invest that money now little more a better connectivity is a good investment that's all i want to say thank you very much over to the tmod thank you thank you paul sir for for the lovely evaluation and thanks to all the tag team for giving us input on their evaluation so let let us just uh, come up uh, let us just move on to the award uh, we are waiting for so i will just hand it over to toastmaster amit to just uh, yeah. Yeah. let me know whether um, whether he's done with yeah the, the results conference. the results yeah. are ready it's with fiona fiona if you could do the announcements please yeah hello everyone uh, ashish i think you can continue and at the end of the presidential address i'll do that okay yes that would be time yeah um i think we have uh, probably i think i would love to ask few more questions uh, just a little bit if mythili is still there uh, mythili toastmaster mythili yeah yeah so good evening i good evening mythili so would you like to share about the books you read of late i mean something interesting uh recently i just read this book called tuesdays with mori by mitch album uh this book uh, uh, you know is written by uh, uh, the, the writer himself um uh, who like the interaction he had with his teacher back in in the university so uh, after he graduated his college like graduated from his university um so uh, you know he he was busy with his life you know with his professional life and his uh, on the other side his professor was getting old and sick so he his this professor he, he loved this professor um you know back in college at the university so he meets with this professor every tuesdays uh, because that was his tradition so uh, like back in college where uh, every tuesday they would sit together and like he would give a piece of advice to him so he continued this uh, like this tradition even after he is uh, graduated from college so that uh, you know uh, he would uh, and his professor was dying so in order to keep his uh, you know the thing going on so yeah so he continues with it and the professor is very knowledgeable and he gives a very good like pieces of advice every tuesday so i really love the book <laughs> yeah. yeah lovely thank you for the insight uh, one correction though is it tuesdays of how do you spell mori is it mori uh Even tuesdays the... with mori uh, m o r r i e r r i okay sorry yeah. so this is another great book what you suggested so yeah. it goes into 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 our bucket list and i i think we can ask two more people since the theme was slow down and read uh, should we ask um, i think fiona if she has read any book of late if she would if she has read anything of late or any movie which is sort of inspiring uh, yeah i read a book and it's nothing inspiring as such because uh, last year when they told there'll be lockdown so i quickly grabbed one 10 to 15 books from the library and this uh, red cover looked interesting so i started reading it and it's basically uh, named as an abundance of catherine means a guy who has girlfriends named catherine literally 18 girlfriends okay anytime he meets it's a catherine 
so basically it shows that pers- is persistent hard work how much uh, like how much hard work he puts in to convince this 18 series of 18 girl friends so basically what i understood from this book is don't give up okay even if one says you know uh, they say you know the ocean is very big and the, there are plenty of fishes swimming in the ocean so this is the book so if someone wants to motivate yourself you can read this an abundance of catherine by john green great read fiona thank you for sharing i think many of the youngsters already can see i just giving you a thumbs up sign so i think this is going to be on the shelf of most of the guys because uh, there's a book which can teach them to do so many things they would definitely read it well i think we can ask um, some more maybe a couple of them or just one more uh, whether shadlene is still there okay i can't see uh, shadlene there we can ask uh, navid yeah i think we can ask navid possibility he is still there yeah 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 navid is here navid would you like to share a couple of reviews about the book you recently read yeah i recently read one book the great indian novel oh, wow. right now i am reading that so there are a lot of things you can take over from that book i have written also right it's in my hand only so okay, okay. yeah what is it about basically it sounds like history to me a great indian novel <laughs> yeah, yeah actually he is teaching the people about a uh, lot of things you, you are inviting new uh, things uh, be a, uh, in the first half he is teaching the people to be a strong clear your mind about your goals uh, these are the things he is uh, actually focusing on and these are the points i have written on the first page but i have understood from the book book yeah. great great we shall also read that book uh, and uh, it sounds interesting to me the name itself sounds a great indian it's like the great indian comedy show this is like a great indian novel yeah, yeah, yeah. so thank you for sharing that with us i'll just move on to home ground maybe i can ask our president toastmaster amit if he is read something off late or a movie or anything which is sort of inspirational with possibility he may not have time for that but let's uh, never let let's hear that from him touch master amit thank you so much ashita i uh, i'm not a big book fan but yes uh, a netflix fan and uh, uh, there are movies that i watch uh, every night uh, along with my wife judith at least uh, one one hour um uh there's one movie that i i liked a lot is uh, i care about you uh it's it's a must watch it's it's a kind of a thriller yes but uh, it's 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 in a way how a lady um goes in about looking for um old um old rich uh, men or women uh, get into their homes as a guardian or something and then uh, take away all their uh, properties and put them in a put them in a uh, old age care home and then somehow or the other she will take up uh, take take away all their property and uh, how she gets caught at the end or rather uh, i would i wouldn't want to uh, tell out the suspense but you better watch it because the end is amazing you'll never realize i mean i didn't i mean th- that was the last one minute of the movie that the entire story what i uh, watched was uh, you know from thriller it goes into suspense so uh, okay. even at the last minute also it was very good so it's a recommendation for you to watch in netflix on netflix yeah over to you ashwin yeah thanks thank you amit for sharing that well yeah and uh, i mean uh, watching thrillers or that too i hope it's not a murder mystery watching it at night is really scary it, with all the thunder no, no, it's not a murder it's not a murder it's not a murder, it's not a murder. 
but the mysteries and thrillers are, would be fine actually you'll be you'll, you'll be awake throughout the morning <laughs> i mean it's like if it's going on anyway thank you for sharing that with us amit surely i think i can though i'm not a netflix fan but i have heard many of the series are watchable also so i i think uh, other than that i think anybody would sort of raise their hand and share if there's something because we wouldn't want to mi- miss out on anyone anything interesting to share you can i'm just scrolling by to see if i can see any raised hands you can just let me know if you want to share anything interesting uh, with us otherwise i think we can go ahead and uh, just conclude today's enchanting <laughs> meeting what we had today so yes i think uh, that's it from me thank you so very much all of you all our sister club members thank you so very much for all the input and all the roles you have taken in today's um, meeting uh, and hopefully we will meet you next month so please take care and stay safe while uh, the only medicine is positivity i can say throughout this second wave as they say so be positive and follow all the norms given by the government because they i somehow government or medical uh, associate whoever is giving you follow the norms and be safe wear an n95 <laughs> in a crowd and thank you so very much over to uh, i mean thank you to our guest speaker as well uh, dpm divish gatti it was really lovely to have listened to all the tidbits you have given to us regarding why we have to join why we have joined toastmasters and why we should continue being the toastmaster thank you so very much everyone and over to our president toastmaster fiona once again good evening to everyone uh, first let me uh, read out the results of the speeches today the best speaker goes to toastmaster navid and yes uh, the best table topic speaker goes to toastmaster apurva singh and the best evaluator goes to toastmaster jacob koshi so let us give it up to our winners congratulations to all the winners so, so there are few people i need to thank i will um, the first and foremost i would like to thank uh, dtm diveshri gatti i'm always enchanted by the way she speaks uh, it was a delight to listen to her after so many days then i took a big break uh, it was great to listen to you thank you so much um, for being a part of our meeting and uh, we, i always feel that you're a member of inspiron because first initially when i joined toastmasters you were always there uh, thank you dtm divesh regard you for that thank you very much it was really nice i enjoyed your you know, the educational session thank you so much and uh, i would like to thank uh, dtm narayanan the president of tripunathara toastmasters and even the uh, we have the vp education prajwal here uh they put in a lot of efforts to conduct a meeting and uh, toastmaster narayan is, is a one who keeps us reminding that we need to keep a joint meeting uh, thank you sir thank you praj uh, toastmaster prajwal as well uh, and uh, uh, we i can't find toastmaster nimish uh, uh, thank you toastmaster nimish as well and all the members who are present here from various clubs without you this meeting wouldn't be fun uh i actually had a lot to learn from this meeting today and a special thanks to goes to uh, my our very own member inspiron member that is i always call him the brand ambassador of uh, toastmasters so obviously many must have guessed who is it a toastmaster amit who puts in a lot of hard work for a meeting even if it's a simplest one he has to uh, make a poster he wants to Mm, said the schedule and everything a lot of work is put in behind uh, like beyond this um, a lot of work is gone behind the scene and the credit goes to amit uh, where i think um, um, his second wife is um, in front of masters i would say <laughs> okay so thank you amit thanks a lot for that and, and uh, we had a uh, uh, toastmaster uh, uh, the 
table topic master of the day toastmaster ashita it was really amazing we all got an opportunity to speak um, it was really a fun meeting did we lose her kiana yeah all right narayan sir would you like to adjourn the meeting please yeah uh, am i audible uh, yes yes sir you are audible sir uh, thanks a lot because i i am also facing a lot of internet Correct. issues to, uh, today and uh, unfortunately i could not open my video uh, i tried many times but still i could not enable even now so yeah regarding uh, before adjourning the meeting i would like to thank each and every one of you especially the office uh, president yona toastmaster amit anand toastmaster nimesh toastmaster padjwal uh, and all the people who work behind this uh, for conducting this joint meeting this is the first joint meetings we have been conducting and maybe the last one also for this toastmaster year and i would like to congratulate inspiron for achieving the select distinguished status you have uh, eight points right now and i am sure that you will get 10 perfect points because uh, you are just uh, one level one completion and one level two completion if you yes. complete one more level one and le one more level two you will achieve perfect 10 points congratulations to the office members as well as all the members of inspiron toastmasters club thank you so much thank you and regarding the bbc uh, they already got 10 points and they became president distinguished uh, status congratulations to nimesh and pradyal Uh, uh, of course tripunitra also got the selected distinguished status and definitely within a couple of weeks it will also achieve president distinguished status whenever as a team we work together we can motivate each other and we can achieve greater height that is called a team together everyone achieve more that's we, uh, what we proved here through joint meetings we can inspire each other motivate each other and conquer greater heights and today i also have the opportunity to enjoy the entertainment session by distinguished toastmaster divya srigathi wonderful session I, I give a huge round of applause to toastmaster divya srigathi also all the role holders perform their level best and make this meeting a memorable one in future also let us even though the official uh, joint meeting is concluded here we can still continue that is the beauty of toastmasters as far as i am concerned whenever you need help just ask just a phone call away just a whatsapp message away people are ready to help you so we can make use of this wonderful platform and grow ourselves once again thank you to all and uh, before adjourning uh, whether we have to in, uh, invite uh, nimesh is there no i think prajwal Ah, uh, Prajal is here. I uh, yeah, Prajal. Now it is your turn to say something before adjourning the meeting. Yes, sir. Thank you, Narayan sir. Uh, yes, as a, uh, I am really sorry, Nimesh uh, couldn't be here because he had an interview to attend today. Uh, he is applying for an internship, so he had an interview to attend. Uh, so we have to log off a little bit early. With that said, I would want to thank uh, Amit. I thank Mr. Amit and DTM Narayan for giving us an opportunity to take up roles and. also uh, as this is our last meeting i would also want to tell them because amit uh, toastmaster amit reached out to us uh, for our sister club because of that we uh, became the sister cluster and uh, we got in touch with inspiron and uh, trikunathara toastmasters we had a very good learning experience from our two old clubs and very experienced members from there we learned a lot uh, being the uh, student club or the college club which we are right now uh, when we had our discussions uh, behind the scenes beh before the meetings we learned a lot from them and in the meetings also we are learning a lot from them uh, i want to thank everyone who are here and also divesh getty ma'am for giving a giving an amazing uh, educational session uh, over to you narayan sir yeah th thank you toastmaster prajal uh, our area director toastmaster abul was singh is also here um, Tasmas uh, uh, Abuwa, would you like to say something? Yes, hello, sir. I'm. 
would you like to get uh, like to... oh, no sir like i would just wanted to say like it was amazing to like the sister club initiative mostly was to spread the network and connection and i guess we three club right now have made an impact and we can depend on each other when we need anything so that's more than enough to count for hope so this cluster remains after getting the point as well <laughs> back to you narayan sir yeah thank you uh, toastmaster bora singh and once again thanks to all the uh, toastmasters and guests Uh, who make uh, made this meeting a memorable one first must amit whether i have to adjourn this meeting or uh, you, you, you can you can adjourn sir you can yeah adjourn. yeah so uh, i hereby adjourn this enchanting meeting and it is not the end but on, or only a beginning over to you okay Ad adjourn thank you so much yeah thank you so much everyone thank you so much you. have a good evening thank you everybody thank have you. a nice evening thank you thank bye you. take care thank you